Yo, what's good my people? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Josian, and this is Kingdom Sense. Today we're going to be taking a look at a fragrance from the House of Fragrance World, or this line is called, I think it's the F.A. Paris line. I'm not 100% sure. Let me see. Uh, no, this Fragrance World, hmm, doesn't really say. But uh, the fragrance is by Fragrance World, which is a Middle Eastern house that likes to clone or copy or be heavily inspired uh, by more expensive niche type fragrances and lately i'm gonna be 100 percent honest with you guys they have been killing it they have been killing it with so many different fragrances by by tom ford and 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 mfk and all these other fragrances so um i saw these i saw this i have there are so many clones to this fragrance already but i saw this one and i had to check it out just because fragrance world kills it so the fragrance we're going to be talking about is called Barricat Rouge 540. You heard it right. Barricat Rouge 540. And this is a clone of Baccarat Rouge 540. <laughs> so, yep, it's called Barricat Rouge 540. This is a 100 milliliter bottle. And this is the box that it comes in. Nice box here. You have some, uh, some designs on the side. You have your sticker of authenticity, which is very important if you didn't know. Um, you have some information at the bottom and Fragrance World logo at the top. So let's open it up in this fragrance. You actually slide it out like this it's a nice little sleeve and it comes out like so. And then here is the box. It, it opens up. And inside you have the fragrance inside like that. Okay. So nice little presentation by Fragrance World. Honestly, not a bad, uh, not a bad presentation at all. Let's uh, put this out here and here you go. So here it is. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> so here's Barricat Rouge 540. If you couldn't tell, it is a hundred percent clone of the Baccarat Rouge 540 to the uh, even the bottle. Um, it is actually a very nice looking bottle here. Uh, you have uh, the logo or the, the information 100 milliliters Baccarat Rouge 540. You have a sticker at the bottom. You have the fragrance world logo at the top and nothing on the side or the back. Now the cap. It is extremely cheap plastic cap, so it does slide into place. I would not do that. I would not pick it up by the cap at all. And I wouldn't even like this. This is such a bad cap. Like, listen to that. But uh, let's check out the atomizer and let's see what it smells like, because that's what th is the most important thing out of all this, right? You want to save money. You don't want to spend $400 on a fragrance. Then you have to sacrifice a few things. Here is the atomizer. Do you see that? That atomizer is pressurized. It's a pressurized atomizer. It shoots a lot of juice. Oh my God, it's so strong. Wow. I mean, this whole area just like Baccarat rouged out, man. Wow. <laughs> okay. All right. I don't even have to put this to my nose. I smell it all over here. It smells like Baccarat Rouge 540. Surprise, surprise. Baccarat Rouge 540. Now, I'm going to give a little bit more once it starts settling down because it's so strong. There is absolutely no alcohol tinge or sharpness or just like this off-putting scent at, from the beginning. As soon as you sprayed it, Baccarat Rouge 540 EDP. It smells just like it, very smooth, slightly more, slightly more synthetic. Let's check this one out. Hold on. Yes, slightly more synthetic in my opinion. Um, and Baccarat Rouge 540 is already a pretty synthetic fragrance. So this being synthetic, I don't think it's a big deal. Baccarat Rouge is synthetic. This is synthetic is more synthetic, but this thing 
will last. This is beast mode, man. This is beast. Now, I sprayed this on my hand. I forget how many hours ago. And I smell it so clearly. It is such a strong fragrance. It's such a strong, a long lasting fragrance, but it is not in your face. It's just around you. You know what I mean? When you first spray it, it's going to be strong. You have to be careful of how many sprays you do of this because you will definitely choke yourself out. But around the, in the air, this, the bubble that you get around you will last a long time. You will be giving yourself. Now you could go nose blind to this easily. Next thing you know, you thinking that it's gone and you get a compliment telling you how good you smell and you thought it was gone. So be careful of that. Don't overspray this one because this will easily perform too much. So let's look at the notes of this fragrance. Honestly, I'm doing this just because of anyone that's in, that's interested in the notes. Top notes, you have saffron and bergamot. Middle notes, you have some rose and some jasmine. And base notes, you have ambergris and some woody notes. Same thing. Legit same thing for Baccarat Rouge 540. Saffron, Jasmine, Amberwood, Ambergris. This is fur resin and cedar, which is just woody notes. I mean, what can I say? This is such a close fragrance, such a close fragrance. If you are thinking about getting Baccarat Rouge 540 and you see this in, on sale and you want to have that type of style, you want to have that, that, that bottle, that nice looking bottle in your, in your collection. It, this is a great fragrance for you. Honestly, I'll give this a nine out of 10, nine out of 10 easily for this, uh, for this, it is going to last long. It has nice projection and nice sillage. And the, the, the times that you would wear, this is the same times that you would wear Baccarat Rouge 540, which is very, very versatile. It is sweet. It is cotton candy like, but it has some saffron in there and some woods, which kind of mellow it down. And it's good for any occasion, any time, um, any time of the year, any time of day. I mean, honestly, men, women, extremely unisex. This is very, very versatile uh, fragrance. That's why it's so popular. So uh, th those are my first thoughts and my initial thoughts of Barracat Rouge. Oh, I didn't even notice inside the bottle in the back of the sticker. There's like a little chandelier. <laughs> These guys are nuts, man. <laughs> but yeah, so that is my first impressions of back uh, of Bar Barakat Rouge 540. Extremely similar to the original and extremely well done. I am so impressed of this. I love the bottle and everything. And honestly, guys, this is a whole line of MFK clones. I have the Oud Satin Mood on the way right now i have the um grand soir on the way right now i have so many different uh, ones that they have on the way right now and i'm going to review them all and let you know what i think of them okay so that's going to be my first impressions of this fragrance 100 percent cop it if you see it get it if you want baccarat rouge 540 get it don't get me wrong there are a lot of them out there you could choose whatever you want i heard that the club de nuit uh, what do you call that? The Club de Nuit Untold is supposed to be like a very, very extremely close version of Baccarat Rouge. I haven't smelled that one. All I could, all I could suggest to you is what I've smelled and I've smelled this one and it looks great and it smells amazing. So that's going to be it for me guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you can, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like on the video because it helps me out so much and leave a comment down below. Let me know what is your favorite MFK fragrance? What is your favorite? Uh, what's it? This is Maison Francis Kurt John. I think that's how you say his name. MFK. I'm just going to call it MFK. What's your favorite MFK fragrance? Leave it down in the comments. Let's have a conversation. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you all. And I'll see you in the next one.